This Maptitude tutorial will introduce you to overlays and buffers. You use overlays to estimate the attributes of one or more locations based on data in another map layer. For example, you might want to analyze the demographics or count the number of customers within five miles of your stores. To do this, first make the store layer your working layer by choosing it from the drop-down list on the standard toolbar. Then click the Overlay button. Specify the size of the overlay. In this case, I will enter a buffer size of 5 miles. Maptitude will use a layer containing demographics to compute the overlay. When you use the United States Country Package, this overlay layer is based on census tracts. There's no need to count the number of tracts in the overlays, so I will remove the check from this box. An example of when you might want to check the box to count features is if you wanted to use a point layer of customers instead of the default demographic overlay layer. Your overlay results would then include aggregate values from your customer layer and a count of the number of customers as well. Also, you have the option of creating a formatted report with a map and a table of the overlay results. I'm going to uncheck this box to skip preparing a report. Finally, click OK to compute the store overlay. Maptitude displays the overlay results in a new data view. Here is the estimated household income within 5 miles of each of the stores. If I sort this field, you can see that the households around store number 10 have the highest income, and the lowest income is found around store number 7. I'm going to click the Name field now and lock it so that it is always visible, and then scroll to the right to see more of the results. Here is the population information. If I sort this field, you can see that 732,000 people live within 5 miles of store number 9, and about half that, 372,000, live within 5 miles of store number 8. Buffers are another tool for estimating attributes that also allow you to visualize the overlay area. I will again use the store layer and click the Create Buffers button. There are several options for creating buffers. The Fixed Sizes method lets you specify one or more sizes for the buffers. For instance, I'm going to take a look at the populations that live within 1, 2, and 5 miles of my stores. I want to look at the entire population that is nearby any store, so I'll leave the separate buffers box unchecked. And I'm going to check this box to calculate demographics for the buffers. And click OK. Now enter a name for the new buffer layer and click Save. Maptitude creates the buffers, adds them to the map, and, because I chose to calculate demographics, opens a data view with the results. This time I'll lock this column. And if I scroll to the population field, you can see that 309,000 people live within one mile of my stores. Another 840,000 live between 1 and 2 miles from a store, and almost 5 million people live between 2 and 5 miles from one of my stores. It is also possible to create separate buffers so that you can, like the overlay tool example before, compare the populations around each store. So again, I'll click the Buffers button. Again, I'll use the Fixed Size method, but this time create a single separate buffer of 5 miles. and calculate the demographics. Maptitude adds the 5 mile buffers around each store and displays the data view of demographics. And if I scroll to the population field and sort it, you'll see familiar results. With 732,000 people around store number 9 and 372,000 people around store number 8. So the only real difference between creating buffers in this case and the original overlay that I did is that by creating buffers, you can actually see the overlay area on the map. You can also build buffers so that their sizes encompass a particular target. For example, we might want to build buffers that encompass 100,000 households around each store. To do this, choose the Build to Value option, enter 100,000, and choose Households as the field. I can find the field a little faster by typing the first few letters to filter the list to fewer fields. Click the Separate Buffers box and calculate demographics. Each of these rings contains 100,000 households. In areas with many households, the 100,000 household buffers are smaller, like around store number 3. And in less dense areas, they're larger, like around store number 8. And if we look at the data view and sort the width column, 
You can see that there are 100,000 households within 2.73 miles of store number 3, but you need to go out almost 5 miles from store number 8 to encompass 100,000 households. There are two other methods for creating buffers. If the layer around which you are building the buffers has a field with information on the size of the buffer, you can choose the variable size option and specify the field and units to use. The evenly spaced option lets you enter a minimum, maximum, and interval size for building regularly spaced buffers. For example, we can build from 0 to 10 miles at 2 mile increments. I'll uncheck the separate buffers box and click OK. In this case now, we can see that almost the entire Los Angeles area is within 10 miles of one of the stores. This wraps up this tutorial on overlays and buffers.